Hi everybody, hope you're well. So this video is requested by Sagittarian Flame, so I'm going to be talking about an easy guide to getting 60 skills from play with your foal on horse. So one of the first things I want to talk about before we even start um, doing anything with the foal is actually whether you've bought this foal or you've bred it yourself, one of the most important things is to make sure the morale and the health are up as high as they can possibly be. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click groom because groom adds morale. So we want to make sure the morale of this foal is up as high as it possibly can be. Because that's going to make it easier because we can do more with the energy that we have if the morale is high. Because if you go to do um, work with your horse and your morale is low, your horse finds it more difficult. So it's going to take longer to do something than it would be if the morale had been up at 100%. So it's very important with that. The next thing I want to do is put to bed. Because if you don't put your horse to bed, your horse will wake up with bad morale. Potentially bad health if you continue to do it. So I'm also going to click on nurse. And we click drink and stroke. So now that our foal is 100% and everything, I'm going to age it. And that will bring it up to four months now. So once it's four months, I'm going to do the same thing again. Groom, put to bed, nurse, drink and stroke. Age it again. And then once it's six months, this is the next most important part, the question center. So I'm going to click register and EC. Now to make this easy for yourself, find one with carrots, okay? Carrots are going to be quite important. I'm also going to look for one with oats and fodder. Those aren't as important for this, but if you want to save yourself having to use them out of your own inventory, then I would select those. Now, the other thing that can be very useful for full games is actually a shower. Now, I'm not going to use a shower in this demonstration, but a shower actually will make it a lot easier to complete the full games. Now, I'm not going to use it, but if you can get one, if you search and you find you can get one, definitely use it. It will make it so much easier. So I'm going to look with, for one that doesn't have that. So we just really want the carrots. So let's pick this place here. So now that our foal is in an EC, the first thing we want to do is groom, obviously, to get the morale up uh, to 100. So we do that. And we'll put to bed and stroke and drink. And then we'll click feed. So one of the things I'll mention with feeding, you're best feeding your horse whenever your horse has high energy. Because if you feed your horse when your horse is low energy, you'll actually get less energy from feeding. So we'll click feed and I'll click age. So this is going to bring our horse to eight months old. So now at eight months we can actually start the games. So what I'm going to do is click groom first because obviously I'm just going to actually show you what I mean by this. If I click to do an R um, of full games I get 1.2 um, skills for 12.7 energy. So what happens if I click groom? Let's click an R again. So I get 1.2 for 12% energy. So you can see it costs just a slightly bit less. And you might think that's not really a big, big deal, but it actually does add up. So that's something to bear in mind. So once I click groom, I'm going to click put to bed because obviously we want to make sure our foal is going to bed. We don't want it to wake up having not been in an EC because it'll wake up not particularly happy, which is going to affect doing this. So the first thing, once you've done groom and you've done put to bed, I'm going to click on play. So I'm going to select to do an R of play. And once I've done that, I'm going to feed. As I said, it's best to feed your horse whenever um, its energy is high. So this is going to give us 5% energy. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and do some more. So I'm going to pick six R's this time. I'm going to go with a little bit more. You're better doing a little bit and then sort of working out whether you need any more. So I'm going to do another R of that. I'm going to click on stroke now actually because stroke is actually best done when your foal is actually or your horse in general is low in energy so it's opposite it's the opposite to feed so I'm going to click stroke I'm going to click drink and then I'm going to click carrot so let's see if we can do a little bit more so we can't do a little bit more on this particular occasion but we can click age and confirm so once again I'm going to click groom that's our first thing to do and then put to bed and then I'm going to do an R of play and I'm going to click feed again. Now, this is pre-selecting my feed for me, but if you want to know how much to feed, it's this bit here. So right now, this foal has been fed 0 out of 6. So if I click feed, it will give me 6 out of 6. So obviously, if you don't have the pre-feed, then you have to go and select it. So now that we've fed that foal, I'm actually going to give it a carrot. Now, one of the things I will say, be very aware of, if this foal was at, let's say, 90 nine percent energy you thought i'll feed it a carrot now you're going to lose all that extra energy that carrot can potentially give you you're better feeding it when it's not going to go over 100 so we'll feed right now that's brought us up to 96 so it hasn't gone over 100 you don't want to waste any of that energy so we've already used feed and carrot so i'm going to do a reasonable amount 
to this full, I think. Let's go with eight hours. And I'm going to click stroke and then drink. And then I'm going to click age again. So if I click groom again, put to bed, I'm going to click play for an hour. I'm going to feed again. Once again, I just need to give it six. And I'll give it a carrot again. We're still okay. It's not going to go over a hundred. Now that you can see now we can do a little bit more than we were able to do the last time and that's because as the foal gets older it can do more. So I'm going to click nine hours on this particular occasion and click stroke and drink and that's brought us just to 20% energy which is what we need. You don't want to go under 20%. That is very important. If you start going under 20% energy your foal will start to lose morale and if you keep doing it then your foal will actually lose health and it will make it near impossible to get the full games unless you go and use a black orchid. So this full is a year old now. And click confirm. And then we'll click groom again. Put to bed. I'm going to do an R. And then I'm going to click feed again. I'm actually, I'm going to give it a carrot again. Hold on. Yeah, carrot will be fine to give. And you can see now we can do 10 R's. So we could do 10 R's. So let's click 10. Click stroke and drink and then we want to click age and obviously if you end up with any spare energy do use it so if you find that your foal is at is a well above 20 percent you go and check and see if you can do a little bit more play so click groom and put to bed and this is the last time we can do full games because the foal is one year and four months this is the last time you can do full games so i'm going to click do an r i'm going to feed it you can see we can get in a bit more energy this time from that i'm going to do a little bit more play then I'm going to give it a carrot and I'm going to select 80. So I'm going to do as much as I can. So let's see. Now when I go to select it, it doesn't actually add me any more skills on. That actually means the full games is complete. So if I click stroke and drink and even though I can do some more, let's just click it right. So I've got 25% energy. If I do 30 minutes, it's going to cost 4%. So I use it, comes down to 21. Now I have gone over the age, or I have gone past half 10. Don't go past 10 o'clock as well. That's another thing to bear in mind. So if we have a look here. Whenever we did the other bit of work with the full, it added skills, but this time it didn't. And that's because we've managed to gain all 60. Now if I click here, I can actually view to see that we have actually gained all 60 um, skills from full games. Now this will take practice. Do it a few times with foals that it doesn't really matter with because eventually you'll get the feel for it and you'll be able to do it, not a problem. Now if you're using a char, honestly, sometimes you don't even need to think when you use a char. You just keep clicking and it, it goes through it really quickly. You still need to pay attention to make sure your foal is in good health and all that, but it is a lot easier. So this foal has successfully gained 60 skills. Now if you were wondering, okay, well I can't go and view that, the best way to actually check and see if you've gained 60 skills is to look at the inborn skills before you started. So if I'm just going to look at a full here. So this full here hasn't had uh, full games done and its inborn skills were 487.43. So if we put that in there, I would write that in there and then I'd be adding the 60 skills. So once you have done the full games, look and see if there is now the total here has had 60 added on to it whenever the horse is one year and four months because that'll tell you whether you've actually gained all of the 60 skills if you can't use the view the details. So you can see there that full, um, it's innate skills, so it's inborn skills, that's the innate skills and it hasn't had games done yet so those aren't showing up obviously. But that full that we've just worked with, if we go in here, you can see that that was an innate, it's innate skills. So we would know that 444.36 four, four, was the inborn skills plus 60 and that gives us 504.36 so that is how to do full games obviously the things to do make sure you get carrots if you can get a shower use it because it will make it so much easier for you and just remember those two really key things is obviously when you go to feed feed when the horse is higher in energy don't go to feed your horse so much that it's going to get fat because once you start doing that then you can obviously make the horse's um, morale and health lower Make sure that when you stroke the horse, the horse is low in energy because you'll get more energy for it. So it's the complete opposite of feeding. And obviously make sure you groom your horse every single day and put it to bed every single day. So thank you to Sagittarian Flame for requesting the video. I hope you said a lovely day. Bye guys. <laughs>